Hey guys, how's it going? Robert Warshak here, and we're going to take a look at some mer budget, budget, Murloc Shaman. Uh, for those of you who don't uh, know or are familiar with our deck overviews, we're going to go ahead and talk about each and every card in the deck, why it's there, what it does, and then from there we're going to actually get into some games, we're going to play with the deck, you're going to see what it does, and then hopefully you can replicate that on ladder. So beginning with Earthshock, originally this wasn't in the deck, I was messing with Earthshock, I was messing with Hex, I was messing uh, messing with the, the uh, Clanstead, you know, the two mana, two one Rush Murloc guy, um, but Earthshock in the end came out to be on top, being able to basically nullify any taunt on your opponent's side or a new reborn mechanic that they may have out is just really really good a lot of players are playing the new reborn cards so earth shock takes care of those no problem grimscale oracle one mana one one murloc your other murlocs have plus one attack it's basically the timber wolf of murlocs timber wolf's a really good card grimscale oracle is a good card tide collar one of your best early game cards one mana one two murloc whenever you summon a murloc gain plus one attack good thing every other minion in this entire deck is a murloc besides the evil totem so this guy can actually get way out of hand very quickly if left unchecked and um him being a one drop means you can get him out of very early uh Mermy, the new murloc the one mana one one murloc with reborn he's just a really annoying card and then again remember if he dies and comes back tide collar actually gets buffed from that um because he reborns as a murloc so just being able to basically just keep the murlocs going and just have a board full of them is the most important thing in this deck for bloodlust will which we'll get to soon sludge slurper again murloc one mana two one battle cry at a lackey to your hand as we know We've come to like lackeys. Lackeys are very powerful. Every time we talk about lackeys, we say the same thing. So we got to play Sludge Slurper. Plus, he's a one mana, two one. Hard to argue with that. Toxin. This is how you deal with big minions that you really don't like. Uh, Battle Cry, give a friendly Murloc poisonous. So we give this to a one one Murloc like Mermy or the Tide Tide Hunter, the one one that comes off of that. And then we basically just trade a one one and we can kill whatever we'd like. Toxin, super super fun if you're the one playing them and super really not fun if you're the one getting tox finned uh blue gale warrior two mana two one murloc with charge in combination with cards like you know murloc war leader it's a two mana you know four one charger which is pretty good that can kill off another minion so whether you're going in for lethal or you're just making trades that you wouldn't normally make super good evil totem at the end of your turn add a lackey to your hand so Basically, when you play this card, does your opponent kill the Murloc Tide Caller? Do they kill the Evil Totem? Are they worried about your, you know, your Cold Light Seer or Murloc Ward Leader the following turn? So just playing cards that left on check win you games, again, really good strategy. So if you leave Tide Caller up, you're going to lose because he's going to kill you because he's going to have a million attack. But if you leave Evil Totem up, I'm just going to have a handful of lackeys, and that's probably going to win me the game too. So really good card. Murloc Tide Caller, 2 mana, 2, 1, summon a 1, 1 scout, just good. Get as many minions on the board as possible. So the Murloc, give your minions Death Rattle, summon a 1-1 one, one Murloc. This works on your evil totems. This works on your no normal totems. It doesn't require the like a Murloc to get the Murloc. You just use this on any minion uh, regardless, which what's, makes this so good. And uh, yeah, it makes it really annoying for your opponent to deal with the board because let's say you have four or five cards on the board. You sold the Murloc. They clear that board. You still have five Murlocs left. And then if you play War Leader, they all get plus two attack, which is basically like using Savage Roar. And uh, if you have... Bloodlust, that's just three attack each. So Soul of the Murloc is really important in this deck. Underbelly Angler, one of the best two drops in the deck. It's insane. Two mana, two, three. After you play a Murloc, add a random Murloc to your hand. If left unchecked, you win the game. <laughs> Cold Light Seer, buffs all your Murlocs, plus two HP. Really, really big to get around that AoE. And, um... Really important if you're playing against Priest to get all your, you know, your 1 HP Murlocs up there to like 3 or 4 um, because it plays around the Wild Pyromancer. Murloc War Leader, your other Murlocs have plus 2 attack. Really important, really good. Basically have it. It's the Savage Roar Murloc. Like, you, you have a minion with Savage Roar built into it. Uh, Murloc Tasty Fin, uh, 4 mana, 3, 2. Stats aren't there, but it's Death Rattle. Is draw 2 Murlocs from your deck. The entire deck is Murlocs. You're always going to draw stuff. And most of the time, you know, by the time you play this, you're, you're kind of running out of cards. So this helps you get more draw. And then Bloodlust, because we're playing all these cheap minions, because we're soul of the Murlocking these cheap minions, we need to buff them up and finish the game, right? So Bloodlust, two of these, give your minions plus four attack this turn. It's a necessary card to play. It's really good. It's going to win you a ton of games. So with that, let's head into the actual games, see the deck in action, and enjoy, guys. I wonder if it's Murloc Shaman versus Murloc Shaman. Budget versus non-budget in a one-on-one -on -one situation here. Ah, it's Battle Cry. All right.
It was really hard not to play Oracle and Toxpin. <laughs> Just say it. Of course it's the right way. This works. Because he trades and it dies. Yo, two lackeys a turn here? <laughs> I have the best deck, but I'm thinking they're bad or Blizzard hates me. Oh my god. Are you really going to trade into the 1-1? Please trade into the 1-1. Oh my god, you're going to regret that decision. I mean, it just takes time, man. If you have above a 50% win rate, that's all you really need. Yeah, we're going <laughs> to... This guy's about to feel the wrath. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Two lackeys a turn. Ooh. He's like Omega dead, right? Six times three is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. He's not dead, but he's pretty damn close. I gotta go. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta smooth, dude. We're smoothing. Do I even want to kill the 3-3? Three, three? Nah, I just send this all face. I just hit this guy in the face. That's all we do here. Next turn, we have lethal with the double lackey anyway. There's no way he's going to be able to clear everything and heal. There's just no way. That bloodlust draw was insane. We also still had a really good turn, though, regardless of the bloodlust draw. Like, the bloodlust draw was just icing on the cake. We already had baked the cake. And we already had purchased icing, but when we actually baked the cake and pulled it out of the oven, the icing was already applied. So we like totally skipped a step. But it's not like we didn't already have a nice cake. Okay, okay, okay. Budget decks to legend. If I were to pick any of the uh, decks to play to legend, I would probably pick the rogue deck or the um, the hunter deck. Probably even the hunter deck. That hunter deck we built is disgusting. Murlocs are just fun. Like, what's not fun about just freaking getting in there? All right, the only way he kills this is Frostbolt. He only runs one Frostbolt in his entire deck, so. The end is coming! All right, Toxfin off the top. Oh, no. Oh, we got baited. There was so many good draws. Earthshock or Toxfin? Toxfin the best. That would have been so sick. Is it worth just blue gilling in and ge er, generating an extra murloc? Probably. Like, we get the murloc anyway, and we get two more damage in there. <laughs> I think that's a fair trade. Blue gill for blue gill. Hunter deck you built. Can you share the link, please? Um, I should be posting the all of the budget deck guides. Oh, my. We were one card off. Dude, you got me got, dude. You got me got. Um, I'll be posting all of the budget deck guides and um, overview video on the YouTube channel. They should be starting 
depending on how much I can get done today, they should be up tomorrow. And that'll have a deck breakdown, a video, and then a video talking about all five of them. I appreciate it, cheese. Yeah, a lot of, I wouldn't say a lot, but some of the people on Twitch don't realize that we post a YouTube video every single day. So that's going to be the uh, Flame Ward. Flame Ward. The reason I'm doing this is because I have the Cold Light Seer and the Soul of the Murloc in my hand. I will show you yeah. All right, awesome. That's his whole turn. We're hitting this guy big. Oh yeah, this is gonna be good. All right. Hmm. The question is, do I play around Blizzard? I think it's probably worth it. I think I'm going to play around the Blizzard. <sighs> the Wild Pyromancer kind of ruined me. That wild pyromancer was totally not cool, because now when I do this, it's going to damage my dudes. Whatever. I really don't have a choice. Oh, it's a counter spell? Oh. I was playing around the flame ward, but whatever. Well, flame striker bust, buddy. Woo. This also could be the flame ward. So I think. Hmm. Nova. That makes my life more difficult. Because now I can't, um. I can't throw another minion out. I can't do anything. He totally denied my entire turn. Uh-oh. Flame Striker Blizzard. Yep. Ah, oh, this mage deck, man. Murlocs, go! <laughs> the mighty Murlocs. The mighty locks. Don't Reno me, dude. Now, if he had Reno, you would have played it earlier. What could he do here? Blizzard? He already used Frost Nova. Oh, that's bad. Spine Shield Rush. He takes out one of the mighty murlocs. Okay. It's 5-5 five, five, trades into another one. We should be able to win though with Bloodlust, right? You're not ready for this. One more time. Okay. So Bloodlust is well let's count it's nine plus thirteen. 9, 13, 16. That should be lethal. Unless that's a counter spell. Okay. 
If I attack with this guy first, if it's a hot plate, or a flame ward, because he would have died. So he does the damage. And now I, and I can just pump up the, I mean, we had lethal anyway there, but we could add two more damage to the board. We added the um, Earthshock store deck, so we we should be slightly more like more favored than we once were. Do I keep War Leader? I probably do. It, it's a tough call to keep the War Leader, and like even the Tide call it, the Tide Hunter is cool. But the problem is if he plays the, um, I guess I could keep them too. I just, I hate going against Northshire or Claire because he always trades into one and then heals and then I have to play the war leader and then I have to trade into his guy and then I still lose a guy. So it just, it makes my life a lot harder than it needs to. Oh, this helps me. So, coin Tide Hunter, he plays Northshire or Cleric, I play Toxfin and trade. Sorry guys, I'm just going through my Pandora and I, 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 ooh. Super yummy top deck. So we can play two Murlocs next turn, which is awesome. The problem with Pandora is I, I used to upvote songs and now I always have to downvote them and then take away the downvote. It always is starting to play the same, same music. So do I either play I can play one Murloc and go soul the Murloc, but then that goes into turn four where he has mass dispel. So I think my best bet's just to go war leader and then try to push as much damage as possible. Cause this adds a ton of damage on the board. And then like the following turn, like if he has mass dispel, he'll use it now. And then we just pump up the base even more. Yeah. So I didn't want to play soul the Murloc there. Cause that leads into mass dispel. So now we can do this. We do this, then we do this. So now if he has mass hysteria, we'll have more locks left over. I'm playing out of my mind today, boys. Rob's on fire. Another soul no. All right, how good are we? Do we top deck our earth shock? Now we top deck Toxfin, which happens to be exactly what we need to succeed. And since Murlocs are dying, Tide Collar is buffed, and we win. Woo! Zippy Kaye, motherfucker. We, we, we've current, we're almost rank three with budget decks. I was trying to play other decks and we were sitting at rank five. Budget decks are the way. Don't stop. Get it, get it. I haven't played Hearthstone in like four months and it still seems the same. Merlock package, every kind of. Everything kind of st still feels the same. A lot of the decks have changed, to be honest. There's a lot of different stuff floating around. Like, yeah, there's still these Murlocs, but you. When you play against Shaman now, you're going to be going against Battlecry Shaman. You won't really see a lot of Murlocs anymore. Your wish is my suggestion. Gonna give him Backstab. The options probably be like Backstab, Lightning Bolt. Whoa, Hungry Crab. Alright, that's an option. Forgot about that unit of a card. I can't tell him. I don't think I'm supposed to solo the Murloc. Ah, 
Ah, oh, this guy. This guy got me good. Hungry crab. How did I not think of that one? That is absolutely the best card. Alright, I deserve Earth Shock. It's not Earth Shock. I'm done doing that vote thing. I went back as far as I can. Arista, no, he gets another hungry crab, but I don't have any more murlocs out, so. Well, actually I will, because when he kills these, he'll be able to re-hungry crab one of the smaller murlocs. But that should be fine. I mean, it's not really fine. There's nothing fine about this. He's generated two hungry crabs from a deck that doesn't play hungry crab. But, uh, we gotta lose some time in our guide, right? can't just win all the games. There's Earthshock. Well, we all know this is happening. Now the question comes, do we try for the Bloodlust out? I think I might go for the Bloodlust out. Because he won't be able to clear the whole board. So I just have to hope to draw Bloodlust. That's how I win. Because we're never getting back on board at this point. He has another crab in hand as well. So whenever we play any sort of war leader, cold lightseer, underbelly angler, that... that... I guess it works out, the Bloodlust play doesn't work out if he has Blizzard, but Blizzard's a one of, so I can't play around. Oh, Reno, alright. He top decked him. Unfortunate. <clears throat> yeah, this curve. Insane. Oh, we actually got the Bloodlust! No, we would have won! Ah! Oh, why did he have to top deck Reno? Oh, we would have got rewarded for making good plays. Ah, oh, that makes me so sad, chat. <laughs> we would have just got so rewarded. That was such a UC win. But the Reno, because he would have never been able to kill all of the Murlocs. I would have had at least six Murlocs out, and that's twenty. That's six three, uh, plus the ones. That's six. That's like twenty two to twenty four damage. Did he sheep? Oh, he did. All right, we lose. Oh, anyway. We lost, but the guy drew like the nuts, right? He got the Zephyrus on two, or he got the Zephyrus to Hungry Crab our dude. He played Twilight Drake on four. He played Barista to make another Twilight Drake and Zephyrus and Hungry Crab on five. And then on six, he top decks Reno. Like, it, th that deck doesn't get any better than that. Like, against aggro, that is. So, uh, yeah. But cool.